The land NATO liberated from Muammar Gaddafi is now home to multiple training camps for potential terrorists. Islamist militants sympathetic to al-Qaeda uh, have established uh, quasi-safe havens uh, in several parts of, of Libya. Benghazi, where Americans were targeted and four killed, is just one of the strongholds. But the camps are spread throughout the country. Libyan officials tell CNN terrorism analyst Paul Cruikshank. Amongst their number are, are people with direct connections to al-Qaeda central. Libyan officials acknowledge at least three training camps south of Sabah, in the desert near the Algerian border. Libya is a lesson in what the international community can achieve. President Obama called the limited operation in Libya a recipe for the future. Not a single U.S. troop was on the ground. But that light footprint left room for others to step in. Ayman al-Zawahiri, al-Qaeda's leader in 2011, dispatched a top lieutenant to Libya, ordering him to build up al-Qaeda's network there. The ringleader of the Algeria attack, Mokhtar Belmokhtar, traveled to Libya a little more than a year ago. And he met with the commandant of one of these camps in southern Libya during this time. But Algeria may only be the latest link in a chain that leads back to Libya. In nearby Mali, the U.S. is now aiding France's fight to smash al-Qaeda. But militants are armed to the teeth in fighting back against French troops. Mali is the first victim of Libya because of the weapon caches that were raided right. and just about uh, the inability for anyone to stop those weapons flying all over. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta issued a warning to those running the training camps. Terrorists should be on notice that they will find no sanctuary, no refuge, not in Algeria, not in North Africa, not anywhere. So far, this al-Qaeda group has been focused in Africa. But counterterrorism officials are concerned that if these training camps continue to flourish, their ambitions may expand. Libya is right on the southern shore of the Mediterranean, and they're concerned militants could try for an attack in Europe. Or European militants could come to Libya, get training, and then go back home to try and carry out an attack. Chris Lawrence, CNN, the Pentagon.